Hi, long time no see. Well, we've got another video for you today. And this is the Edifier S2000 Mark III's. One there, one there. These are powered by Bluetooth 5.0 and they are active powered speakers. So technically they are meant to be bookshelf speakers and you can see the environment is not the place where they should be. They should be in bookshelves. But these are slightly bit bigger than bookshelf speakers. But who knows, let's go through the review and find out a little bit more information about them. First off, we've got a left hand speaker and a right hand speaker. And um, these are not light. These are in cabinets which are just solid wood. I'm not even joking. 17.1 kilos, both of these speakers without any of the accessories in the box. And if you're wondering, yes, these are removable grill fronts. But if you're wondering again, they're not magnetic. They've got little pokey standoffs on the actual speaker and uh, they've got rubber inserts that keep these firm in place when you've got the sound bumped right up. Let's start off with this speaker though because I don't really want to pick it up again because it's so damn heavy. But the lovely finish of this speaker is absolutely outstanding. I'm not even lying to you. It's got like curves of a Coke bottle. It's just really, really well shaped and it's so distinctive and stylish. You definitely would want to put this up so people can actually see this speaker. So the left hand speaker has a five inch woofer as well as a tweeter as well. The tweeter is rated at 15 RMS and the subwoofer is rated at 50 RMS. So quality good sound should be coming out of these speakers. So that is a total of 160 watts of power but that's actually wrong because it's actually 130 watts of power get your maths right underneath i thought i would actually put these speakers on the mirrored base it wasn't by accident look at the rose gold underneath it actually looks outstanding if you had this on a bookshelf just a little bit higher level and you were doing your books and stuff everyone be able to see this it is such a pretty feature who would ever thought that you have pretty feet on a speaker the aesthetics of this speaker screams premium it's really just a looker but forget about that this is the mark III, so it's all about the sound as well and the sound i've already listened to the sound but i'm going to tell you about that towards the end but all i can say right now impressive so let's talk about accessories real quick. So phono cables or RCAs that people know them as, you get a double end and basically you can place them in a Blu-ray player or a PC that's got a sound card or even the latest consoles. Depends on where you want to, how you want to connect these up. So they're included in the box as well as an optical out. And these leads are pretty decent lengths as well. If you want higher quality sound, then I suggest that you look at a music shop or like somewhere like Richer Sounds where you can have better quality phono or ICA cables and uh, you can get that sound a little bit more cleaner without too much static. Even though we'll talk about the sound later on. But you also get an RCA or phono cable jack to 3.5 millimeter jack, decent length. But just remember, these speakers are Bluetooth 5.0. So the connectivity is really awesome. This is really crazy. The cable looks like an umbilical cable that is what comes from a woman and a baby that's connected together and they're using it to connect these damn speakers together. It is impressively long though. I'm not gonna lie, impressively long. But don't forget the remote control. How good is the remote control? The remote control is very decent. The only thing that I might say about it is uh, the fact that I can't see it properly because it's not lit up but it's a remote control after you start to fiddle around with it you definitely be able to feel where the preset buttons are it's pretty simple power button and power off you got bluetooth button at the top there for on and off bluetooth connectivity and you also got line in and line two by pressing it once and pressing it for the second option um, and then you've got mute at the top and you've also got volume up volume down skip forward and skip back and play all in the middle so normal traditional way of how you would do remote controls 
Uh, you've got an optional button there, and you've got a coaxial button there. Monitor, dynamic, and also classic and vocal are all on here as well. And we'll obviously get to the sound part as well, because I have got a sound demonstration. These remotes are always pretty hard to get open, but I've just done it really easily. You've got triple A double batteries that come included as well to get you going on your way. Very stylish remote, not too heavy, but still quite good quality. And I could reach it from my living room, no problem. And it just was pretty active. But the coax cable or the speaker cable that goes to it is really thick. It's probably about that thick, which is probably about maybe a centimeter thickness. It is an umbilical, what's it called? A umbilical cord. <laughs> I'm not lying to you. It is really thick and really long and it connects these high quality powered speakers. It drives them really well. Now here's the crazy cable. The binnacle cord is really thick, uh, but now nah, it's all good. Anyway, this goes in face down. So you, it's a flat bit and then it's rounded off. So the flat bit faces down, but on the other side of the speaker, that faces to the left. I don't know why they just didn't do it so it's exactly the same. But yes, when it's in there, it's nice and it's in there, but there's no locking feature on there, but it won't come out as easy. You know, it's actually pretty decent. Uh, I can't believe they even included this thick cable. It's like a, I don't know, like a bicycle or motorbike sort of like lock, but just longer and it's brown. It's not bad. It looks really nice. It'll fit in to a bookshelf that you have to have a very big bookshelf because this is, look at the size of my head compared to the, I hope my head is not that big actually, but yeah, the speaker is actually really big. It's like, it's bigger than bookshelf. I've done reviews of Edifier bookshelf speakers. This is uh, much bigger. Anyway, we've got a reflex or base reflex uh, thing here. So what it is, is that I've got it here. And when you're gonna hear the sound um, test or um, monitoring or whatever, you're gonna notice the difference of what it sounds like here. It's not very hollow, this wall's solid. You've got a TV there, you've got um, other things here, and it's just not set up right. But I was really blown away how the sound sounded. So you imagine if you had it in a nice, proper place, especially in a bookshelf speaker corner, it would be awesome. So as you can see, this is the right-hand side of the speaker. Now, this is where all the magic happens. And obviously the left-hand speaker doesn't have anything on there other than an input to connect. I ain't gonna say it again, but the cable from one speaker to the other side. We've got the phono ports here, and then we've got a coaxial um, port here, as well as an optical out, which is covered over. You can pull that out. And then you've got the mains adapter. You've got a switch on and off uh, for power. And then you've got bass and treble. And then you've got your multiple functions on the back. So you press the button in and you can get your Bluetooth, your coaxial and uh, wherever you've got it connected to, your line in or your line um, two out. So line one, line two out and your coax or, or your optical out. So it's got a lot of functions, but you obviously have to press it. It's like a carousel until it goes back round. Um, really nice little feature, which is always on Edify speakers from 2012 that I know because I've been reviewing Edify speakers for that long. So it's like really nice. It's just really damn heavy. You need a really strong bookshelf. So let's talk about the LCD screen. So the LCD screen is a nice little feature that's always been on majority of Edifier's products. So you can actually see what you're doing. But it's the fact that it is really quite impressive because it's got an LCD screen. You press a button and it kind of just, just slides in. It just looks really nice. It's like really quite clean and clear. The only problem is, if you've got a bookshelf and, no, if you've got a bookshelf, that's fine. If you've got the covers on, it's a little bit, you can't really see it as much unless it's a little bit more higher. But it's not really much of a problem because you can see on the remote control where what buttons you've actually input to do your presses on or your presses to command your input in. I think that's what I meant to say. Now we come to the part where it's most obvious what you've come here for. Speaker sound quality. Now, remember this is behind a solid wall, so it's not hollow. Hollow will give you deep, reflective bass because there's bass holes there and it would need to be a certain distance. Well, obviously in your house or your room, 
wherever you've got them, you need to obviously put it so you can design that signature sound that you would like to have. Some people like more solid bass. I like really deep, punchy bass. But I also like mids and highs and I like to sound separated. Separated? These speakers are separated. To be honest with you, they sounded like they've got a mini sub in them. Only five inch woofer, but they do actually sound like they've got a sub in them. And I'm with a solid wall, a TV, I've got probably interference and everything. You'll hear the sound test in a minute. But yes, words I think and believe these are for audiophile people. Yes, I would highly recommend it. The 5.0, um, what is it? It's a kind of a high definition technology of sound that I would definitely be impressive with compared to where edifiers come from and where they are today. The sound quality is, might as well call it high definition sound because the sound sounds really clean, but separated. It's like when I was playing with the dynamic and the vocal, what else is on there? Uh, vocal, classical, monitor and dynamic. I was playing more with dynamic. Dynamic gives you more bass and more emphasis. Vocal gives you more of the lower bass lines, but the lower bass lines are more taken out, but the vocals are pushed up. So technically it speaks volumes for itself, but I'm just explaining what I felt from it. The classical, didn't really know too much about it, but I didn't really play any classical music. I just played music that was an all rounder. And um, I did feel passion for the music. I didn't feel like, oh, it's hurting my ears, or I don't really want to listen to it, it's making me feel uncomfortable. It felt relaxing. It also made me trance out. And when, it, when speakers can do that, then you know that spe them speakers are actually doing the job that they're meant to be doing. Um, it's like when you've got a nice pair of cans on, a nice pair of headphones on, and you've got it set up with a nice amplifier, and it's producing the higher fire, separates, um, you got like, it just feels separated. It feels enormous, but clean. Um, it's like the bass, I can actually feel the bass from these speakers, but I'm not surprised. They weigh as much as me. 17.1 kilos, these speakers weigh. The cabinets look so delicious. They really do look fine, but so does the sound. It complements it really well. People would actually be really happy if they are proper audiophile heads, they would find these speakers awesome with the Bluetooth. Even though you've got all of these capable like connections that you can connect them up with and you can connect loads of devices with, it's awesome. It really is good. I haven't really got a con about these speakers at all. It's just they're slightly bigger than what bookshelf speakers should be. But cars are getting bigger these days. Family's getting bigger these days. I don't know what to say about it. But if you like this video and you thought it was helpful, drop a like and a subscribe if you want to and also hit me up on discord even though we haven't got a section for uh, music but i think i will put one in there for like speakers and sound and music what you're listening to so we can all kind of be in a community and kind of get what i should be kind of doing and talking about in speaker reviews
problems or problems or problems or problems or problems or problems or solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be cool. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Throw the progression, the all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I'm something in public. Cause bitch, I got problems or problems or problems or problems or problems or problems or solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be cool. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Throw the progression, the all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I'm something. Why you be all on my line about nothing? Why won't you go get you a dollar or something? Don't hang with a nigga who lying for nothing. I see that we different, you rising, I double. I don't do discussions, I'm bragging about money. So hold in your places, I know that they sucking. Don't call me your brother, I barely can trust that. I told you with shorty, she bagging the bucket. And I'ma get all of my dollars on corporate, so hand me the money, I give you the pie. I'ma give all of my people a portion to put them a fortune, I'm flipping the ride. I can't be mixy when if he the vibe. And 40 on 50 is really the time. Why are you all on my phone like you want me? Like you wasn't pushing the kids to the side, I don't know if you is a dick and a blind. Toss on my crosses and down on my eyes. Done with your efforts, I'm dealing with pressures. I know it's a lesson that's worth it to watch. Dubbing the mixes, I'm mixing. I know I've been missing. I needed some personal time. Fuck all the pictures and mentions. I know what you did. Just I mean it. I'm staying inside. Bitch, I got problems or 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 solve them. I run through the money. The pressure be calling. Left on my blessings. I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Throw the progression. It's all that I wanted. The phone and affection. I'm jumping and dumb because bitch, I got problems. It's been your man Roger D, and I guess what? I'll see you in another video in 2025, probably. No, it will be pretty soon. But anyway, miss you all. Roger and out.